girls, children of all ages, let's get ready to take in. Hello everyone and welcome to Tekken 7. Uh, I'm super excited to get this one started. I've been freaking going in, practicing with characters all day. I practice with, I want to say, at least like 15 different characters earlier today. Uh, just going in, learning the controls, getting a feel for it. Um, I don't have very many like combos and stuff down yet, except for like a handful of characters. And... Um, I was mainly just trying to see like how the game plays, what the mechanics are like, uh, and get the basics down. Because once you get a feel for the game and its flow, you know how to block and things of that nature, you can pretty much pick up any character to like their most basic extent and then also like find a few good characters that you really like their playstyle and it really suits you and then really branch out with them from there but um... I'm gonna get started here with the story mode the uh, Mishima Saga and also I do have a PlayStation VR so one day you might just see me uh... play this game in VR somehow I don't know how that's gonna go I might need a good four months of uh... training before I do that but yeah, we're gonna get started here. So level one, this setting is for beginners. Beginners, some moves and combos are easier to execute in story mode, allowing new players to get a feel for battle. Level three, this is the standard difficulty setting for casual players. Opponents are moderately strong. This setting is for advanced players, tougher than the standard setting. This mode will put your skills to the test. You know, I always do like doing stuff on the normal, but I am like super new to this game, so I kind of want to do this. Doesn't affect the content of the story. Uh, it says it's the standard difficulty setting for casual players, so I think I should be able to handle it. Hopefully, this is one of those games that'll let you change the difficulty mid-story. And if something gets like super tough for me, I'll change it to one star and probably just leave it there as a mark of shame for myself. But for now, we're just gonna go mid-tier. I've Never mind, I'll finish that thought later. I remember receiving my first letter from my son a few years back. Scribbled on it were the words, I love you. I was so happy, I cried. At the time, I believed that love was all anyone needed. For some years now, been investigating a certain father and son, and I managed to get a hold of the first letter the boy wrote to his father. It said, Father, one day I will tear you to pieces. I also want to go ahead and say I have played Dude the game looks sweet though. Oh god. Ow. Ow. I'm not ready for these, bro. That's 100% him. Did I actually just fail? Oh, thank god. I thought I was actually supposed to like get his health down. I kind of want to try. Like, I feel like if I was actually trying there, it would happen. Is he about to throw his son off the cliff? Dude, what is up with this man? What? 
Okay, well, to finish my thought earlier, well, two thoughts earlier. One, I've beaten very few games on their hardest difficulty, or even just hard difficulty. And two, I've played very little to no Tekken. I've played some of Tekken Tag Tournament, I did like two fights maybe, and that was that. I do plan on getting like everything in the galleries though at some point and just like reliving the story and actually learning what it's all about. But for now we're just going to enjoy this story and I'm not going to really be buying any customization stuff until after I've beaten the story. It will be a reward to myself. And then by that time I will have started a new series that I want to start on the channel and you'll probably get to see my characters in action in all their customized glory. I'm not sure when I'm going to reveal the series name to you guys, if it'll be before I even start uploading these, or actually, yeah, you guys will know the series name before this video comes out. Why'd you pronounce it like that? Oh god. Not when you're pronouncing it like that again. Really glad I turned on subtitles. Or oh, left them on. Oh my gosh, he sounds like Dio. And a few other people. I once called home was now just an ashen field, and streets echoed with the memories of playing children and delivery trucks. Everyone I loved had been lost in the past. That day, my old life ended, and a new one began. In my loneliness and despair, a hatred grew inside me.
Dude, this looks incredible. Is that really how their elevators work? They just climb up? Okay, how is he going to survive that? I'm pretty sure that's not how missiles work. Pretty sure we're gonna throw hands with this man soon but I do plan on making each episode one chapter long the Jojo sorry he's Dio wow, he just really followed through with that one Oh, that was an awkward transition, dude. Oh, there is quick time. I do not know how to do this with this boy. But we're gonna figure it out as we go along. Ow. Oh, he power bombs too. Does he German suplex? Ow. Of course I'm using the story assist, why wouldn't I? Dude, this guy's literally freaking Liu Kang. Oh, that was epic. He's literally deep voiced Dio. Mixed with Liu Kang, sorry. Had to yawn there. A little bit tired. Don't know how to find a good stopping point on this. Maybe I'll just have epilogue and chapter one together this one time. I thought there'd be a better like stopping point to start up the next thing, but everything's kind of just flowed together since the uh, prologue. Okay, why does she just talk to them in English and then they respond fluently in, oh gosh, Japanese. You're pressing all the wrong buttons in all the right places. Ow, stop. You're not doing all of this today, woman. I'll tell you what. Ow. Oh gosh. 
Oh, <laughs> stepped on, girl. Ow, please don't. Ow, please don't. What? Oh, rage art. Ooh, I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, oh, shut up, baby. Ow. No, 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 no. Now, wait a minute. Okay, she just uh, kind of stepped inside of me. I don't know any of his combos. I'm learning as I go. Ow, can you don't? Jeez. All right, let's just look at a few here. Okay, I got it. A trophy called Let's Do This. I don't know that, what that one was for. That can't be the end of chapter one. Nani? Excuse me, sir. Just now, Heihashi Mr. Heihashi. Does he have one red eye? Why on earth would you want to hold a tournament now, like this? This blend of English and Japanese is really throwing me off, dude. And what is that? I found myself staying in a cheap oh yeah, that is chapter one done. Reports on the hellish war never let up. Ah, this game just really goes. The Mishima Zaibatsu. It was never daytime. The concept of evil seems so rare. Who torched my hometown? The Mishima Zaibatsu? Or was it you, Uh, pretty sure it was the Lin Kuei. Or the verge in chaos. Who could tell? In the darkness, a fellow reporter visited me and offered me a ray of hope in the form of an expose. People believe that the Zaibatsu had started the war. So it was only natural that they saw g as their savior. However, my reporter friend came into my hotel and... Things took a serious turn. 
Sorry. Alright, I'm going to have to stop soon here, but I really don't know where. Okay, wow, these graphics just really changed. I don't know what's happening. How did his son survive being thrown off a cliff? Dude, his body's jacked up. Oh, my body's made of steel. Ow. Jeez, how was I supposed to... Ow. That guy just got slapped over the head. You just wait a minute. I can't take guard, right? Okay, we're gonna uh, call it quits there for this episode. I'm still gonna record a little bit more, but um, in the next one, we're gonna finish up chapter two. And these chapters are pretty short, so I might actually be able to do two chapters at a time. But until then, guys, as usual, make sure to rate, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, do all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>